Uh, my name's Camille Patendall, and what's my name? Okay, where are you from? I'm from California, originally from the Philippines. Okay, and what college did you go to? I went to California State University, Northridge in California. Okay, and do you have a teaching credential? I do have a multiple subject teaching credential, and um, I got my teaching credential as, uh, from CSUN as well. Okay, and how long have you been in South Korea? Let's see, I got here August 23rd, so about less than two weeks. <laughs> wow, so you're yeah. brand new. Brand, brand new. Brand, brand new. Okay, and why did you come to Korea? I came to Korea to seek uh, some adventures as far as my teaching career and to um, venture to a new place. So, um, just seeking adventure. Okay, and uh, tell me about some of maybe the culture shock experience you had. Is there anything that's really surprised you um, in your arrival? I don't think it was really surprising, but because uh, it does, Korea reminds me a lot of the Philippines, um, the streets, the, um, you know, the people, the, the crowdedness. So it wasn't a total shock, but I'm, I guess I was a little surprised how nice people are in Korea. They're very, very helpful, especially the old people. Okay. Um, what are some good things about living in Korea so far? Oh, uh, well, so far I, I, I'm living for free in my apartment, so that's a good thing because the school pays for it. But um, it's, it's really, you know, it's really not a bad place to live. Like, I like it because, you know, the, the nightlife is good and um, it's very safe, especially here in Daejeon. It's, it's safe. I, I, I would recommend living here. Okay. Um, and have you had any difficulties with Korea so far? Um, just the walking, maybe. I'm still trying to get used to it. Uh, I'm back in the States. I, I drive my own car, but here, you know, if you want to go to a place, you have to, to walk. If you want to do grocery shopping, you have to drag your bags all the way back to your apartment. But um, other than that, you know, there's no difficulties. Uh, my schoolwork is really, you know, my school is really close to, to my apartment. So, yeah, that's not much walking, but still got to get used to it. Yeah. Um, okay, and then uh, has there been any specific problems with kind of getting settled in? Like, have you been able to find everything you need? And... Uh, yeah, I was actually surprised because I'm a kind of person who really wants everything in place and try to, uh, you know, settle as, as soon as, I, as you can. But um, when I got here, there's a Daiso right across my apartment. I was able to get all my stuff that I need. Uh, Home Plus is 15 minutes away, walking distance. So, um, no, no difficulty. Uh, I've actually spurged myself buying some stuff that I want more than I need. <laughs> so, yeah, it's no difficulties for me so far. Okay, and what, what have you thought about, like, Korean food so far? Oh, I'm not a big fan of kimchi. Oh. So, that's interesting. But um, I, I do notice that, you know, when you ask, um, when you order your food, they serve a lot of kimchi on the side. So, I've tried to... Um, kind of, you know, test myself for that, and um, Korean food, I like it, you know, rice and meat, um, I'm all for it, so I like it so far, too. Okay, and uh, do you have any advice for people thinking about coming to Korea? Um, um, just be open-minded, you know, when you come, uh, it's a different culture, a different environment, so just be open-minded, don't say, oh, I, you know, there, you may be curious about things, but just you know, keep it to yourself and seek answers, like, you know, discreetly, not trying to, you know, look at people strangely or anything. But um, keep an open mind and, you know, enjoy your uh, adventure. When you, if you come over, enjoy your adventure and just live it day by day. You know, you ha you're here for a long term, so you got to live it day by day. Okay. And uh, do you have any advice about the application process? The application process for me wasn't that difficult because I... Had a hookup. I had a connection. I was going to yeah, say connection. Yeah, <laughs> um, but, you know, you have to be patient. Uh, it, it, it is a process, so you have to be patient about it. Um, how long did the process take you? Uh, you know, I started thinking about coming to Korea back in January, and so I started I started my FBI right then because I know that FBI check takes a while, so I got that done under my belt. But um, I would say about four to five months because of the hookup, of course. But uh, I think it usually takes about that time anyway. So. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah. So, um, you know, I didn't have my passport, my Amer American passport with me, so I had to file that up. And then um, what else did we have to do, I think? And I had my, uh, my, my medical checkup 
back in the states too that way when I come over because they do have they do um, do your medical checkup when you come here so just make sure you have all of that you know um, settled down and um, yeah it wasn't it wasn't difficult you just just be patient just be patient you know um, I'm sure if you if you plan on coming over your recruiter will help you as much as as much as they can right here <laughs> so um, yeah so just just be patient you know that that's the biggest advice that I can get and you know be excited about it you know it takes a while but be excited as far as you keep that excitement you know time will fly and you'll be on your way to Korea okay and do you have any final thoughts anything else you'd like to share um you know I'm enjoying my life here so far so if you're coming over uh, you know get that process going and um, you know uh, just be ready Re be ready for a lot of not a lot but be ready for changes overall and um, You'll miss your family, of course, but don't worry. Korea has like the number one network, internet, whatever. So um, you'll get in touch. There's like cafes everywhere. I don't have internet in my apartment right now, but yeah, it uh, takes about a month. Yeah, it takes about a installed. month because they do have to um, file your ARC, your alien registration card. That's like your green card in the states. So, um, but there's cafes everywhere. There's Wi-Fi everywhere. So don't even worry about not being able to talk to your family back home. So. Um, yeah, I have no complaints so far because I've only been here less than two weeks. But um, I'm hoping to get that ball, uh, you know, still rolling in, in that regard. So, yeah. Okay. Well, thanks, Cami. And uh, if you'd like to be a teacher here in South Korea, like Cami, please send your resume to instructasia at gmail.com. Yep. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you.